welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to do some basic audio editing using Audacity Audio Editor. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to export the audio in an MP3 file. So if we open up Audacity, we can see the original track that I was editing before. And now we want to take this track and export it as an MP3 file. But before we can do that, we need to install something called a lame encoder which is the mp3 encoder so we go to google and we type in lame encoder and we click search and we're going to get various options here and the option we want to select is this one here this will actually install the encoder for audacity so let's go to this website i'll put a link in the youtube description as well and when we get to this website in this case we're going to install it for Windows you can see there's a Mac option here as well so we'll click on Windows download and then we'll click on this lame encoder here Windows EXE it's going to download the encoder and then we can click on that to launch it let's minimize this and Norton's has scanned it and says it's safe it's good to install so we just follow the basic on-screen instructions to get the encoder installed and you can see it's, it's going to install it into the audacity as well and we'll click finish now that we have the encoder installed we can actually export this audio track as an mp3 file if you don't install the encoder you won't be able to use the mp3 export so we're going to go to file and really we should save the project so you should always save your project save as and we'll just call it we we'll just save that for now that's fine so we should save our project and now we're going to go to export audio and in this case we want to rename the file in fact I'll save it here as a separate track and there's some various options here so quality, we can leave it at 170 by 210. That's pretty much better than, you know, it's just as good as CD quality. So that should be fine. If you're doing some high-end video production, you may want to get a higher bit rate for better audio quality, but this should be pretty fine. This should be good. Uh, it can be left at variable speed. That should be fine. And we can join the audio tracks. You can have this separate stereo audio here, but we, we're going to join it as one file. That should be okay as well. And we'll click save. And then it's going to give you the option to put in the artist's name, the track, the album, and the year, and the genre, and so forth. So when you're looking at your phone, you may, you know, when you're looking at audio tracks on your phone, you see all these different bits of information pop up about the different, um, the information about the track. So you can fill that in if you want to. And we click OK. It's going to export that audio track. And if you remember in our previous tutorial, we faded the audio in and we faded it out here. So we can close this now and on my desktop I've got this folder and this is the audio track that's been exported so we can just right click open and we can just play that track and we hear it fade in and at the end we'll hear it fade out as well So now you can take that audio track and you can put it into your video editor or you can just have it as an mp3 file um, and that's basically how you export an audio track from Audacity in mp3 file format. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial. <laughs>